Welcome to another episode of Mr. J's Workshop. Today I have two tips to share with you that changed the way I did things on the X1C and made my life a lot more easier for printing. Uh, the first tip is skip. And what this means is it will skip if you have multiple items on the table and you can select those items. Uh, this could be used if you get into a situation like I did. Uh, I had 50 some items on the table and ended up with the spaghetti and started ripping parts off the table. So I was able to stop the machine and look at it and was able to use this feature to select the bad items not to continue the print. This is very helpful uh, if you get in a situation that you notice that one of the items on the table looks crappy or ends up with a little bit of spaghetti and you know it's not going to work out well for you and you don't want to keep on printing that one item but you may have multiple items on the table. So the way the feature works is uh, you can pause the job if, it, if the machine has not already paused, go to the bottom left corner of your screen, select the little icon there. Now it'll show everything that's on the table. Select the items you want to remove one at a time and you'll see it appear in the little window on the right hand side and select that item. Once you got all the items selected, you could go back to the home page and resume printing and that's all to that's all to it you know uh, you have saved yourself some grief on restarting the whole job over uh, in my case I wish I knew this from the beginning I, I ruined about a hundred pieces because I ended up with the spaghetti I didn't take the time to research into this or ask help how to do this uh, I, I I learned from the forum on Facebook uh, a gentleman Josh showed me the trip showed me the trick and it has changed the way I've done things on the printer now tip number two tip number two is uh, Christmas was good to me I have a new AMS that I'm loving at this time I got it all hooked up, but I'll talk about that at another time. At this time, I didn't have the AMS, and I, w I wanted to add color. And I didn't know how to stop the machine at a certain place and be able to change the roll of filament to another color and start the machine. And it's very, very simple. When you import, when you import your image, into Bamboo Studios and you slice it if you go to the far right of the screen there's a scroll a scroll bar so you hit the scroll bar scroll down to where you want the machine to stop once you get to that point you right mouse click and add a pause and then you'll have to re-slice you re-slice your job and send it back over to the printer. Now, when the program reaches that pause, it will stop and give you a, cha a chance to change the filament to another color. Or in other cases, say you want to add a magnet and resume printing over the magnet to seal it into your project. Or a uh, Nut. There's there's many different options for the pause ad, and and these two tips are, are are very simple. I did it the first time. I didn't have any problems, and it changed the way I print. Uh, I, I'm able to print a little bit more efficiently with those two little tricks. Well, if you like this, if you like this video, give us a like. Or, or like, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode. You have a happy new year. We'll see you in the new year.